Call of Duty World at War. This is my strategy. I got this strategy from Gamer5793. I plant my betties in every corner and in the middle for dogs. And then I run over here since they only come from over this fence right here and through this doorway. Usually two or three go over the fence and I shoot. Usually have to shoot the one to offer three times, you miss, and then four. I go in small circles right here. And I just keep checking through this doorway. And when there's a big pile of zombies, I just shoot them. And if there's zombies by myself, I just run around them. I let them build up for. Once I've already got like zombies like these, I will just shoot them like that. And I come back. I come to this well, in between every round. Sorry. Hey, one second. I'll call you back, alright? Uh, hold on. I didn't check my phone. I'll call you back, alright? See. Ya. And, uh, I just come back to this spot. Play one here. They're gonna run into that one. And, right there. They're gonna run to those. I got all the beddies I need. I, I'll just throw four grenades. I don't really do anything. Nice shoot. Nuke. That's the thing you want the most. And it's quick rounds, too, you know. You always gotta replace this baby because they run, unless if you open up doctor's quarters, they run this way and they run into it. But yeah, the rounds are pretty quick. They go through like nothing. But, uh, about round 30 something. I think it was line, right, like about round 31 or 33 or something like that. They start spawning near you like how they are right now. And uh, before those rounds, I just run in big circles around the car room. But uh, if you keep doing that on high rounds, they'll all come out and pour up, and then they'll just trap you right there. You don't want that, because that happened to me before. I like I'm round 60 something. I got most of my information from my uh, friend. Gamer five seven nine three. Like I didn't know that they all would just pour out of this. Yeah, and find like a big pile of them. Well, that's not that big of them. Sometimes I won't shoot any of them. And I'll just turn on the flogger at the top right here. And watch them all die. And yeah, you can crouch under the flogger. I noticed a lot of people on YouTube would crawl or uh, lay under it and they get killed that way if the zombies are reaching. Yeah, and this is my dog strategy. I usually put a baby right there. And I use my trench gun. Usually they run into those. I let two build up. Like I'll have two like that and then I'll run into a baby like that. But uh, that's, this dog's stupid, but he doesn't know what he's got. Got one dog. I usually run a circle over here. Get two dogs and I run over this bed here. Goes in bow. Come back. Circles. Dog. Dog. Betty. Forgot about that one. Dog. Dog. Betty. Excellent. I just saved. I always save these two for extra just in case I need them. It took me well, about two hours to get to this round, including I had to go eat. It took about another hour plus I paused it. And uh, I don't I don't know how people are getting to level 2,147. I mean, 
that's just no life. No offense to you guys, but you guys have no life at all. This takes forever just to get to this round. So, yeah, and you always want to get Juggernaut, obviously. Slave hands, definitely, dude, when you're dealing with dogs. And I will have a cap card soon, so I don't have high quality videos. I ordered it off eBay from Hong Kong. It's taking a while. Got about 40 something seconds left, so. The camera's gonna stop filming. And then that's my strategy. Half of gamer strategy. The dog strategy. The bouncing baddies. I got that from Gamer. Didn't get it off YouTube. Well, I got it off this video, Gamer 5793 plays, and, uh, that's about it. It's gonna end in about 16 seconds. So, this is just my little strategy right here, is little circle. So, subscribe. Thanks for watching.